Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking or network unlocking of a device in order to be used with a different carrier or network other than the one that originally sold it. By default, most mobile devices these days are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used with the original carrier and they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier or a different network. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S22 that is originally from T-Mobile here in the U.S. And this is a device that has not yet been SIM unlocked because with a different carrier SIM card inserted here, we can see this pop-up message down at the bottom that says that the device is network locked and that it is not allowed to use this SIM card. So that's what pops up on pretty much all of T-Mobile's devices when they have not yet been SIM unlocked. And of course, T-Mobile controls all of that via their built-in uh, SIM unlock system where they have an option in the settings to go in and do the SIM unlock when you have met all of T-Mobile's requirements. But like pretty much all other carriers, T-Mobile has their, set of, their own set of requirements that have to be met, which usually include things like you be the original owner of the device if you're the one requesting that it be unlocked and that it be fully paid off and out of contract and that you not owe them any money, yada, 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 that you also have used it with them for a certain number of days or weeks or months, and all of these requirements vary from carrier to carrier. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on the specific model, usually either because they themselves wanted to change carriers away from T-Mobile before meeting all of T-Mobile's requirements for them to do the SIM unlock for the person, or because the person purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. In those cases, the seller usually either claims that it's already SIM unlocked or that it's already eligible to be unlocked through T-Mobile and all they have to do is contact them to get it done or whatever the case may be. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovers that's not actually true, that the device is still locked and that T-Mobile won't do it for them. And then the seller has usually long since disappeared in those cases since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video here to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the device SIM unlocked without having to go directly through T-Mobile and meet all of their requirements in order for them to do it. The procedure is something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows PC along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right here right now. So we're going to show you one thing really quick just while we are here to show you that it is indeed from T-Mobile. We have T-Mobile's apps or at least one of their apps there preloaded, the My Account app, and then when we go into the settings and we look at the carrier information, which pops up under Service Provider Software Version, all of the TMBs there are what indicate that this device is originally from T-Mobile. So, as I've been speaking, I've been running our unlock program here on the device. It needs just another minute or so to finish up what it's doing, and then after that, we should be able to see that we no longer get that error message when we insert a different carrier SIM. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the rest of the video here just so we can keep this as short as possible. So just hold on here while this finishes up running. Okay, so we should be all set here now. The program has finished up running. Obviously, you saw there that the device just restarted once, and now, once we go ahead and swipe that away and then pop our other SIM card back in here,
So notice that we no longer have the network lock message down there. Instead, it's just giving us a message that we have a new mobile network available and it's prompting us to restart the phone to apply settings from that carrier. So hold on while that runs through now. Okay, so we are all set here. We can go ahead and swipe away the lock screen. And now the SIM card that we have inserted here is not actually active on a phone number or plan, so it's not actually going to be able to give a signal or service. But if we go into the settings under connections, and then if we go to the SIM card manager, or no, it's actually under access point names that it shows up, I'm sorry. Under access point names, we can see that it's defaulting to Xfinity Mobile, which is the carrier of the SIM card that we have inserted. So even though it's not actually gonna give us signal, all of those are our visual indications that the device is successfully unlocked, that it can now be used with any other compatible wireless carriers. So if you have an S22 that's originally from T-Mobile and would like help getting its SIM unlocked, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our information there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new services and videos that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también <clears throat> hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.